Windows 8 first look. Windows 8 is the upcoming operating system from Microsoft. Yes, everything in it looks pretty retarded for a desktop use, but it was primarily made for the tablets. It's optional to use it as a desktop environment, but a great suggestion is to not to. The first thing you'll notice when you boot it up is the boot screen. It has not changed drastically, but has changed differently. The boot time on it is quite fast, but it seems to be the same as Windows 7. Now I'll tell you what drastically changed. It is the login screen. In order to go in to type in your password, you just swipe it up with your mouse or using a tablet. When you swipe it up, you will be prompt to type in your password and just go ahead and type it in if you need to. Logging in has been made faster. And once you log in, you will notice that the start menu and the interface has completely changed. This has only been certain just for the tablets. It's navigatable with a tablet, not so much with a mouse, with my opinion. In order to go to the original desktop, which was in prior in Windows 7, click on the desktop icon, which should bring you to the desktop. Now, if you want to go back to the start menu interface, you cannot change it to the original. But if you go down, and you'll see this big old icon. So if you click on that, it brings you back to the start menu, and voila. The multitasking interface has changed. It's quite different, and in order to do this, you have to go to the top left, changing back and forth between everything you have. Same goes with more applications when you have them open. The Metro interface is fully customizable. You can choose where to put any tiles into any place. Now for settings, you have additional settings. If you place your mouse to the right side of your screen and you will have the settings menu come up. It's a black bar which will give you options. If you go to the search icon, you can search within the start menu like the old one in Windows 7. And when you search, you can choose between three options of settings, files, and applications. And let's say we search for display. The display icon will come up from what you search. Same goes if you search for applications. Let's say Google Chrome. Don't ask why I don't use Google Chrome right now, because Internet Explorer pretty much sucks. Continuing on, you can go and click on settings in order to customize everything within it. You should have the tray icons, which are usually at the right side of, of your screen on Windows 7 power and your language now if you want more settings which i mentioned and you click on that this menu will pop up with all the settings you get to choose what background you want for your lock screen and you can also browse if you see that icon at the top right also for your start menu you get to choose what kind of style metro retro and also the background color these are basically the changes in Windows 8. The main focus of what they're doing is the interface for the tablets. Play around with the settings if all you want. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.